in the extreme cosmic region, spiritual so-called supply store, no? supply store, the store is like 150 square meters each. Uh, and the entrance is only 10 inches wide and one and a half meter long. I just, only the soul can come in. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Croatian, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Abhimana Prekshakulu Mimalni Chudadaniki Adbutamoga Nunadi Naperu Gunavati Hyderabad Nundi Adhyat Mika भारत देशमलो गणतंत्र भारत देशमो रेंडवा अत्यंत जनाबातो प्रपंचमलो चाला अवधार्यमगला प्रजास्वामिका मरियु एडवेला किलोमीटर ला समुद्र तीरमो कलिगी आशीर्वादिंप बड़ी उन्नदी Nalabu Pradana, Prapancha Matalu, Hindu, Bodhamatam, Chainamatam, Mariu, Sikamatam, Ikada Putti Undaga, Islam, Christavamatam, Judaism, Mariu, Jurastrianism, Motati, Sastra of the Low Vachinavi. Barthadeshamlo, Jentulu, Chala, Premincha Baduno, Mariu, Kaura Vinsa Baduno, Mariu, Aneka, Jentulu, Atiat Mika, Pramaka Kaligi, Unavi, E. Deshamu, Yoga, Mariu Diana Mulaku, Jenmas Talamuga, Kurtimpa Badinadikuda, Alagi, Satyamu. Anvation to Variki, Pradana Tirta Yatra, Pradeshamu Kumba Melalo, Palgunutaku Pavitra Ganga Nadilo, Munutaku Mariu, Himalaya Mula, Andamunu, Teri Para Chuchutaku, Prapancham, Nalumula Lanunchi, Yatrikulu, Samu Hamuga, Palgunduru Barata Deshamlo Shakahara Tatwa Mukoda Mukya Ikada Vidhanalu Kachitanga Drudamainavi Rishikesh Patanamlo Mamsamu Gutlu Mariu Matyam Nishe Dimpa Badinavi Atyatmika Bharata Desham Yukka Oka Isha Darshanam Mito Panchakunutaku Idi Oka Gauravam me jivitam, Viluva in a chanala, Oka nidi turpu ani, Memu pratis tunamu. Mood 
దశాబ్దాలుగా పరమ పూజ్య గురువు సుప్రీమాస్టర్ చింగాయ్ ఆమె దైవీక బోధనలతో మన ప్రపంచాన్ని ప్రకాశింపజేశారు ఒక పూర్తిగా జ్ఞానోదయమైన మాస్టర్ పూజ్య గురువు సుప్రీం మాస్టర్ చింగాయ్ మనలో ఉన్న దైవత్వాన్ని తెలుసుకోవటానికి మరియు జనన మరణ చక్రం నుండి విముక్తి పొందడానికి తక్షణ జ్ఞానోదయం పొందాలని కోరేవారికి క్వాన్ ఇన్ ధ్యాన పద్ధతి నేర్పిస్తారు జ్ఞానోదయం పొందిన మాస్టర్స్ బుద్ధ యేసుక్రీస్తు మొహమ్మద్ ప్రవక్త అతనికి శాంతి కలుగుగాక గురునానక్ వంటి వారు క్వాన్ ఇన్ ధ్యాన పద్ధతి అవలంబించారు మీరు ఎల్లప్పుడూ దేవుణ్ణి గుర్తించుకోండి ఇతరులకు నిస్వార్థ సేవను అందించండి మరియు విశ్వపు చట్టాలు ఎల్లప్పుడు పాటించిన ఎడల మీరు మీ అత్యధిక స్థాయికి చేరుకుంటారు మరియు భూలోకానికి వచ్చిన ఉద్దేశం పూర్తి అవుతుందని సుప్రీం మాస్టర్ చింగాయ్ నొక్కి చెబుతారు సుప్రీం మాస్టర్ చింగాయ్ ఒక అసాధారణ జీవించి ఉన్న కరుణ కలిగిన పరమ గురు ఎల్లప్పుడూ ప్రకృతి వైపరీత్య బాధితులు శరణార్థులు నిరాశ్రయులకు మరియు అవసర సహాయము కోరువారికి ఆర్థిక సహాయము ప్రేమ కరుణ మరియు భౌతిక సామాగ్రి అందజేస్తుంటారు టూ థౌజండ్ సిక్స్ లో సుప్రీం మాస్టర్ చింగాయ్ కుస్సి శాంతి బహుమతి పొందారు దీనిని తూర్పు ప్రాంతపు నోబల్ శాంతి బహుమతిగా భావిస్తారు మరియు సంవత్సరాలుగా అనేక ఇతర అవార్డులు ప్రశంసలు అత్యుత్తమ దాతృత్వపు మరియు మానవీయ సేవలకు గౌరవించబడ్డారు మన అందమైన జంతు స్నేహితులకు నిజమైన పిలుపు ఆమె శాంతిని ప్రోత్సహిస్తారు మరియు ప్రేమతో ముక్క ఆధారిత ఆహారంతో ప్రతి ఒక్కరి జీవిత పవిత్రతకు మానవత్వం యొక్క మేలుకొలుపుతో ఒక శాంతియుతమైన మరియు అద్భుతమైన ముక్క ఆధారిత శాకాహార ప్రపంచంలో జంతువులు మరియు మానవులు ఆనందకరమైన సామరస్యంతో నివసిస్తారని సుప్రీం మాస్టర్ చింగాయ్ వీక్షిస్తున్నారు ఆమె ముక్క ఆధారిత శాకాహార ధోరణి వ్యాప్తి చెందడానికి చేసే కార్యక్రమాలు విభిన్నమైనవి మరియు ప్రత్యామ్నయ లివింగ్ పాంప్లెట్ పంపిణీ చేశారు అంతర్జాతీయ గొలుసు ముక్క ఆధారిత శాకాహారి రెస్టారెంట్లు లవ్వింగ్ హట్ సుప్రీ మాస్టర్ టెలివిజన్ అలాగే క్రమంగా మాట్లాడటం ప్రభుత్వాలను మరియు మీడియా నాయకులను ప్రభావితం చేసేలా మరియు వాతావరణ మార్పుపై టెలివిజన్ సమావేశాలలో పాల్గొనుట మనకు దాని గురించి తెలిసినా తెలియకపోయినా జంతు అనుకూలమైన జీవన శైలిపై ఆమె ప్రయత్నాలు అపారమైన ప్రపంచ అవగాహన కలిగి ఈ దయగల మార్పు అన్ని దేశాలలో శాశ్వత శాంతి మరియు వాతావరణ మార్పు తద్వారా భూగ్రహ రక్షణ తీసుకురాగలవు సంవత్సరాలుగా సుప్రీం మాస్టర్ చింగాయ్ ప్రపంచవ్యాప్యంగా ప్రయాణించారు అమెరికా నుండి ఆఫ్రికా యూరోప్ నుండి ఓషియానియా వరకు వందల కొద్దీ ఉపన్యాసములలో వివిధ రకాల ఆధ్యాత్మిక విషయాలు ప్రజలతో మరియు ఆమె శిష్యులతో ప్రసంగించారు ఈరోజు మనం దీవించబడినాము అంతర్దృష్టి కలిగిన ఉపన్యాసాలలో ఒకటైన సుప్రీం మాస్టర్ చింగాయ్ యొక్క దైవీక కనెక్షన్ల డైరీ పార్ట్ సిక్స్ లో సిక్స్ మాస్టర్ మరియు శిష్యుల మధ్య ఆంగ్లంలో ఆగస్ట్ నైన్టీన్ ట్వంటీ అండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ టూ థౌజండ్ థర్టీన్ ఫ్రాన్స్లో ఇవ్వబడినది I just read it, okay? <laughs> In the extreme cosmic region, when was that? That's on um, 17th of May, hmm? 2013. 
apart from all the the thing that I wrote, like how much peace we have, how much uh, you know love, how much uh, whatever. Yeah, here, yeah, yeah. And there is another thing that I know here that I wanted to share with you because I didn't tell on TV. I didn't say in the interview with the Supreme Master TV uh, staff. Okay, in the extreme cosmic region, spiritual so-called supply store, no? supply store, the store is like 150 square meters each. Uh, and the entrance is only 10 inches wide and one and a half meter long. I just, only the soul can come in. I think you can't come in. <laughs> I can if I don't keep eating too much. <laughs> I can drag my body in there. Mm. You know, compared to this physical dimension, it is like that. But it's endless. You know, even when you come there, you see like almost like 10 inches wide and half a meter long, the entrance. But it's not like that, you know. Once you enter, it's like immense sky in there. But actually, it's only 150 square meters for each store, eh? for each section, like for peace, <laughs> mm. uh, for life, for youth, for karmic immunity, etc., etc. Mm. They're all very square up there, huh? square. <laughs> right. And then the, the connection which you can reach, oh, not reach really, which you can tune into in this physical world, eh? But not, of course, you cannot see it right here. What I mean is, one, when you live in this physical world, if you want to connect to this uh, storehouse up there in the cosmic uh, extreme region, the, there is a, a tube, like a water pipe, similar. Yeah, it's about uh, half a meter long and 10 centimeter wide. wide. That's about this much. <laughs> yeah? So I don't know how you get in. <laughs> oh, this much long. Oh, well, this wide. So zoop, the, <laughs> the soul goes in, <laughs> like a straw heim. No? Yeah. And even then, it's not always open. Eh? I, it's only open when I come in. Or whenever the guardians want to drip a few drops <laughs> of this blessing down into this planet. Uh, more into the universe, you know, that's it. Normally it's closed all the time and guard it tightly. No power can ever open it. No power in the universe can ever open it, except for the guardians and the master who's supposed to be there. Occasionally, yeah. But this uh, uh, little tube that we have just mentioned is, is compact with powerful spiritual blessing of all kinds. Eh? And the guardians, they work in shift <laughs> also. <laughs> yeah, they don't work all day or night. Eh? They have shifts, you know, like us. Eh? And because also very tough to handle this power. It has to be exact, understand? Otherwise you destroy the, the world or you, you destroy the master even into powder. Eh? It's like a tom atomic room, you know, key or control board. You have to be exact. Now, the, so they work in shift, huh? about four shifts every day. <laughs> Our day, yeah. <laughs> and there's no day, no night over there, but they take turn to do that. And every seven years, they change. Change uh, equip. <laughs> Change, huh? Change the guard. Change the guard, yes, yeah, like a Buckingham Palace. No? <laughs> okay, so I think that's maybe interesting for you. Yeah, that's it? Yeah. I know I wrote a lot here, but it's nothing really important to you. No, I just wrote down where, where things are, you know? For example, um, what is that? Ah, yeah, yeah. For example, something I write SM only means it's only for me. And uh, W and uni mean 
for world and for the universe. Mostly because I'm physically here, the main office here, so the world benefit more than the universe. Like last time I told you, for an example already, yeah. So um, I just wrote down like rebuild the universe. It's a, in a window, middle, terrace, door. Yeah, for example, uh, who would even find it? Mm, orange carpet on the right. <laughs> the other one, eh? multi spirit power, orange carpet. Orienting spiritual levels also. That, that just, that just not for you. It's in a bedroom door front, for example, like that. Yeah, but it's not here, huh? okay? It's in another country. Yeah. I left it for you. Okay, any more questions? Uh, are there some people upstairs also? Yes. yes. Oh, they couldn't sit here? So I don't have to go up and talk to them later. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, listen. You want to hear some jokes? <laughs> <laughs> Joke is always good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, last time we cracked a few. Uh, oh, I had a joke today, original, but I forgot what it is already. <laughs> I, I forgot. If I don't write out, I forget. That's why I wrote a lot uh, in the beginning. Hair, right? Hair like a rabbit. Hair. Oh, man, don't they have better pronunciation? Everything, hair, hair. <laughs> you know, hair appearance, hair of fortune, huh? And uh, my hair and the hair running around. <laughs> yeah, too many in one pronunciation, huh? And some people don't talk English very well. They say, come here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you doing here? <laughs> hair, okay. <laughs> a man and his wife were taking a Sunday drive when a hare, you know, a large rabbit, jumps out into the middle of the road. Oh, he swears to avoid hitting it, but unfortunately, the hare jumps right in front of the car. Oh man, he must feel very depressed. No carrot that day. The supermarket is empty of carrots or something. So maybe he wants to die, eh? The driver and his wife pull over and get out to see what has become of the rabbit. Much to the husband's dismay, the rabbit is dead. Oh. Um, I continue, okay, here. Yeah. The wife pulls out a spray can. She walks over to the limp, dead rabbit, bends down and sprays the content onto the rabbit. The hair jumps up, oh, waves its paw, at the two of them and hops off down the road. Ten feet away, the rabbit stops, turns around and waves again. <laughs> he hops down the road another ten feet, turns and waves again. <laughs> hops another ten feet, turns and waves again. And he repeats again and again until finally he hops out of sight. Wow, what a polite rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> we human wave once, that's already. <laughs> <laughs> sufficient. I'm already tiring enough. <clears throat> the man is astonished. Me too. Huh? He asks his wife, What was that in that can? What did you spray on that rabbit? The wife turns the can around so that her husband can read the label. label. It says on the label, Hairspray. <laughs> can restore life to dead hair and adds permanent wave. <laughs> very, very cute. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> Actually, yesterday is supposed to be the last day of retreat, you know, so we could laugh today, huh? That we survive one more day, see? <laughs> so we have a cause to celebrate, huh? I don't know if this is a good one. Atheist, yeah? Mm. An atheist. You know what an atheist is, yeah? 
Yeah, you don't believe in God, right? Okay. An atheist was walking down a road along a precipice. Suddenly, the stones under his feet crumbled away and he fell over the cliff. Is that a joke? <laughs> oh, there's some more. Okay. <laughs> Just over the edge, a small tree growing on the rocks stopped his fall. Hanging onto it with one hand, he thought, Well, I have nothing to lose if I pray. Do you hear me, O Lord? <laughs> the atheist shouted out. All of a sudden, the voice answered, I do. Save me, O Lord, and I will believe in you. The voice came back, No, I will not. <laughs> uh, you all say the same thing when you are in trouble. <laughs> But afterwards, you do not. Be- but afterwards, you do not believe. Uh, so the man was desperate. Please, please, truly, I will believe in you. I swear it. There is done. I believe in you. Okay. God say very well. Uh, the voice say very well. I will save you. Now let go of the branch. The man replied, "What? Do you think I'm an idiot?" <laughs> <laughs> This we had it before, but but I like this version better. <laughs> you can stretch your legs, guys. Yeah, especially the long. Just stretch it out. You know, I make an example. <laughs> this is an example. You don't do it at home, okay? Especially somebody else home. Yeah, because <laughs> you got kicked out. No, nah? but here it's okay. It's our home. We can do what we want, both of us. Okay. Silent treatment is the next. A man and his wife were having some problem at home, and were giving each other the silent treatment. I think you all know that, right? <laughs> silent treatment. I, I never used it, but I'm sure you do. Suddenly, the man realized that the next day he would need his wife to wake him up at 5 a.m. for an early morning business flight. Silly man, he has an alarm clock. He has a phone, right? Probably this is a long time ago, no? Yeah, when they, they did not invent the clock yet, no? Or this guy, he didn't invent his brain yet. <laughs> not wanting to be the first to break the silence and lose, so he wrote on a piece of paper, please wake me at 5 a.m. He left the paper where he knew his wife would found it. You know already, right? You know what happened, right? Uh, the next morning, the man woke up only to discover it was 9 a.m. already, and he had missed his flight. Very, very annoyed, he was about to go and see why his wife had not awakened him when he noticed a piece of paper by the side of the bed. <laughs> you know already. It is written, It's 5 a.m., wake up! <laughs> <laughs> You know it already, why you laugh so loud only when I say it. Nice. <laughs> Good joke, huh? Yeah. Okay. Bah. Okay, now I just remember the joke that I want to tell you. I even wrote a joke here. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sometime it comes, you know, in the middle of nowhere. And when I'm dead serious, sitting for pe- world peace, it comes a joke. <laughs> It jump out. So it's like this, one of the jokes. I think uh, maybe I have told you already. There's a, a couple of jokes, or maybe I, don't, I didn't tell you. Ne- never mind. Pretend that you didn't hear, even if you did, and laugh, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, you get no more joke for me. <laughs> <laughs> Refrigerator is another joke. Huh? Refrigerator, one. Why? He has two? (laughs) A man was telling his friend he went home to find his wife has left a note on the fridge. The note said, It's not working, I can't take it anymore, so I have gone to stay at my mom's. A usual stuff, no? We hear that all the time. The man said to his friend, I opened the fridge, the light came on, and the beer was still cold. What is she talking about? (laughs) I thought it was a fridge myself. Yeah. Uh, okay. The next joke. Why are married women heavier than single women? 
Huh? Right. Huh? Huh? Single woman come home, see what's in the fridge and go to bed. Married woman come home, see what is in bed and go to the fridge. <laughs> is that true? Why is that? Why you have to check the bed first? Just a reminder. Oh, that's that's all there is. Well, maybe maybe there's something better in the fridge. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Some substitute, nah. Huh? Mm. Sure, sure. But everybody married. Why? And they can't even leave. They always threaten divorce, but they stay together forever, you know. I mean, some do, but mostly stay forever, you know? And endure all kind of control or trouble or manipulation or boring relationship, you know? And still stay together. Ah, tell me why, Choco. Karma. Ah, karma. <laughs> wow, good. Good one, huh? So quick. Now, uh, driving license. My neighbor was working in his yard when he was startled by a car that came crashing through his hedge and ended up in his front lawn. He rushed to help the elderly lady driver out of the car and sat her down on a chair. After asking if she was okay, he said, you appear quite elderly to be driving. The woman said, well, yes, I am. Proudly. I will be 97 next month, and I'm now old enough that I don't need a driver's license anymore. <laughs> really? After 90, they don't give you a driver's license anymore, right? Oh, how convenient. Then I wait until I'm 90, then I just drive. <laughs> well, you don't give me a driver's license, <laughs> what am I to do, right? <laughs> The last time I went to my doctor, he examined me and asked if I had a driver's license. I told him yes and handed it to him. He took a pair of scissors out of the drawer, cut the license into pieces and threw them in the wastebasket, saying, you won't need this anymore. So I thanked him and left. <laughs> It means you're too old, you shouldn't drive anymore. And then she said, oh, it's very good, thank you. <laughs> she thinks the doctor said, okay, you're okay now, <laughs> you can drive without license. Uh, it wasn't very funny, but never mind. Uh, two women talking in heaven. Oh, wow, interesting. That's probably for you. No? Uh, don't listen. <laughs> A woman talks, yeah? Two women are talking in heaven. First woman say, Hi, my name is Wanda. The second woman, Hi, my name is Siva. How did you die? The first woman, I froze to death. The second woman, how horrible. First woman, oh, it wasn't so bad. After I stopped shaking from the cold, I began to get warm and sleepy and finally die a peaceful death. What about you? A second woman said, I die of a massive heart attack. I suspected that my husband was cheating, so I came home early to catch him in the act, but instead I found him all by himself in the den watching TV. So the first woman say, oh, so what happened? The second woman, I was so sure there was another woman there somewhere that I started running all over the house looking for her. I ran up into the attic and searched and down into the basement, and then I went through every closet and checked under all the beds. I kept this up until I had looked everywhere, and finally I became so exhausted that I just knew over with a heart attack and died. <laughs> the first woman commented, It's too bad for you. Didn't look in the freezer. <laughs> oh, we would both still be alive. <laughs> oh. oh, man. She should have looked in the freezer. And both women still be alive. <laughs> well, I like the punchline. <laughs> Thai salesman. A man desperate for water was plodding through the desert 
when he saw something far off in the distance. Hoping to find water, he hurried toward the mirage. A mirage, mirage, right? Mirage. Mirage, no, not marriage. Mirage. <laughs> It sounds like French. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's French. Only to find a little old man standing at a small table selling ties. The man asked, "Do you have any water?" The salesman replied, "I have no water. Would you like to buy a tie? They are only five dollars." The man shouted hysterically, "You idiot!" I do not need an overpriced adornment. I need water. Sorry, I have none. Just ties. Only five dollars. <laughs> ah, the guy was very angry now. I should wrap one around your neck and choke you. But I must save my energy and find water. Said the little old man, the tie sellers. Okay. It doesn't matter that you do not want to buy a tie for me, or that you threaten my life. I will show you that I am bigger than all that. If you continue over that hill to the east for about two miles, you will find a restaurant. It has the finest food and all the ice cold water you need. The desperate man staggered away over the hill. Several hours later, he crawled back, almost dead. The old man said, "Did you find the restaurant?" The man answered, "Yes, but they won't let me in without a tie." <laughs> First class restaurant. Yeah, some restaurant demand that you have to go in with the proper attire. You know, you can't go in with flip flop shoes. You can't go in without a tie or in a suit. In some hotels like that, and. Business is business. They have a store next door to sell you suit, or rent you tie, or to rent you suit, or rent you tuxedo, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> they make business for them also. You see, that's very clever, eh? This entrance cannot don't let you in without a tie or a suit or tuxedo. Next door is so conveniently yeah. there's a store for rent or, or buy or that. It's truly like that, like in uh, Hotel de Paris in uh, Monaco. I don't remember what occasion, but a man uh, cannot come in without a, a suit, so he has to go next door and rent one, rent a jacket, yeah, and a tight. <laughs> and did I tell you that joke about the invitation? It's a posh, posh uh, upper class uh, birthday party, and the invitation is written. Uh, I said, please come with tights and dancing shoes. So a man come just with that, just with tights <laughs> and dancing shoes. Okay, guys, I have to go. పూజ్యమైన వీక్షకులు మేము మీ కంపెనీని మెచ్చుకున్నాము నేటి ఎపిసోడ్ సుప్రీ మాస్టర్ చింగా యొక్క దైవీక కనెక్షన్ల డైరీ పేరుతో పార్ట్ సిక్స్లో సిక్స్ మాస్టర్ మరియు శిష్యుల మధ్య దయచేసి వేచి ఉండండి సుప్రీ మాస్టర్ టెలివిజన్ మరింత సానుకూల ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ కోసం తదుపరి వస్తుంది లియో టాల్స్టాయ్ పుస్తకము నుండి ఎంపిక మీరే జ్ఞాపకము చేసుకోండి పార్ట్ టూ ఆఫ్ టూ వివేకము యొక్క పదాల మీద డాష్ ఫైవ్ మీ దయ మరియు కారుణ్య చర్యలు ఇతరుల జీవితాలలో సానుకూల అలల ప్రభావం సృష్టించుగాక మే యువర్ కైండ్ and compassionate actions create a positive ripple effect in the lives of others.
For more details, please visit supremasatv.com/bmd.